morning. Okay, so this lesson is gonna be for lesson 16. Lesson 16 is gonna be a little bit different. So we're gonna be looking at three stories. The Monster Beneath the Sea, which we had recently read, Earth Shaker's Bad Day, and then Earthquakes. So Earthquakes was the first story we read in Unit 3. So it's been a while, and we read it when we were back in school. The first thing I'd like you to do is, even if you don't have someone to talk to, sometimes voicing your ideas out loud is very important. So I want you to do a turn and talk, even if you have no one to talk to. You're going to turn and talk about how does the information earthquakes help you better understand Earthshaker's Bad Day and the monster beneath the sea. What's important about this one is that Earth Shake, sorry, Earthquakes was a factual nonfiction story. And Earthshaker's Bad Day and The Monster Beneath the Sea are fiction stories. So we're asking how a real factual text helps support texts that are actual just stories that people came up with. Okay. And if you answer this one and you get done really fast, why was it important to read Earthquakes first? and then followed up by actual stories. Okay. Something else you're gonna be doing today is gonna to be your readers and writers journal. On page 249, you're gonna be doing a word analysis. On prefixes M and N. So these words include immature, mature, incapable, improbable, in effect, in effect, infectant, Impartial, impure, insincere, impossible, immoral, impolite, incorrect, inadequate, imperfect, indirect, practical. Sorry about the last one. I was going to say it was inefficient. That is not correct. It's inefficient. Okay. So one thing important to know is that M and N both mean not. So what you're going to try to do is that you're going to take immature and cut the I-M off of it. It's like you're going to hide it, right? And think of what the word mature means. And you may not have the best definition for it, but whenever you have, it says like not something. If you can get close, so like immature, right? Mature means to be like grown up. M means not. So what does it mean? Not grown up. And you're going to do it for all of them, okay? The next, oh, so here I'm just showing you that it means M and N means not. The next one's going to be your Reader's and Writer's Journal, page 250. It's going to be a writing response. You're going to think about the following text, Earthshaker's Bad Day and Monsters Beneath the Sea. Would reading either of these myths teach a reader real facts about the experiences of an earthquake? So you're going to say if yes reading either of these texts would help you understand real facts or no, they wouldn't help you understand real facts. Either answer could be correct as long as you support it with examples and details from the text. And remember whenever we support things from the text we put in parentheses our page number and where we found it from. Okay. And then we're going to do our Readers and Writers Journal for Writing, on page 255, write in response. What do you think people use myths instead of facts to explain why? Sorry, why do you think people use myths instead of facts to explain natural events? So why? Include ideas about the text structure of myths and author's purpose and your answer. Use detail from the text to support your answer. I also want to um, point out that when you think about this one, you might want to think about maybe not right now where we have a lot of science data here for us. Like we know a lot about how the earth works and stuff. But think about like 20, 30 years ago, you may not have known about how the earth works, right? And so you would have to have an understanding of things in a different light. Okay. And that is all for Lesson 16. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact either me or your homeroom teacher. Have a great day, fourth graders. Bye.